Now, once you open the application, you'll be asked if you want to create an account. I highly recommend that you do that, but just for this tutorial, it's not necessary to have an account. So if you want, you can just simply skip that. Now, next, you will be presented with this window and I actually do not want to see it every time I open Postman, so I will just ignore it and I invite you to do it the same. Now we're inside the Postman interface and of course there are a lot of buttons, there are a lot of panels, there's a lot of information. Don't worry about it for the moment. We'll get to them as soon as possible. Now the first thing we want to do is to submit our first request. And for this tutorial I'll be actually using an online service and that service is called httpbin.org. And what this service does is to provide different kind of endpoints, so this different kind of addresses that we can use, which have a different functionality for testing purposes. So this is not like a real API that is actually doing something with that information, but it's more for testing purposes. Still for learning Postman, it's more than enough to understand how to use Postman in order to use later a real API. With that being said, let's go back to Postman. And so right here near, near get, let's type in httpbin.org slash get. So congratulations, this is your first request. And if you see here status 200, it means that this request was successful. Now you're probably wondering what exactly has happened. Well, you said to Postman to go to this address and when you say, click the send button, this request was sent. And then in the section here below, you will see under body, you will see the response body. You'll also see the status of the response and 200 means that the response was answered correctly. So it was understood by the server. And the server said, okay, this is the information that I have. Just click here to continue with the next video and subscribe right here below.